so proud to have a teacher running for governor. It feels right. I said it warmed my heart. I, I mentioned it one more time. Do you have confidence in your ability to speak English? Are you confident when you speak English? Or do you speak English confidently? In this video, I'll show you how to use the words confidence, confident, and confidently when talking about your ability or someone else's ability to speak English. Confidence is a noun. Confide is a verb. Confident is an adjective. And confidently is an adverb. Notice that the adverb adds an L-Y ending. Here's the adjective. To make the adverb, you just need to add an L-Y ending. Confidently. The verb confide is used in ways that are a little bit different from the meanings of these other words. To answer this very simple question, how do you do, and then here's the thing or the activity, we can just use the pronoun it. How do you do it? This can represent the way that you speak English or the way that you play a game or the way that you carry yourself. To answer the question, I do it with, and then here is the noun, I do it with confidence. Or you can say, I am confident. The word confident is the adjective. Or you could say, I do it confidently. When you say, I do it confidently, here's the adverb. And this is supporting the verb, the main verb, do. How do you do it? And then your answer is, I do it confidently. The adverb modifies the verb. In order to do anything well, you need confidence. You have to believe in yourself. Is there someone in your life who gives you confidence? Who gives you confidence? Or what gives you confidence? My... And then here's the person gives me, and here's the noun, confidence. My teacher gives me confidence. You can also put a thing here. Instead of a person, use the word knowledge. My knowledge gives me confidence. Or my knowledge of English gives me confidence. Many students have a good knowledge of English, but they don't have the confidence to speak. Your knowledge should give you confidence when you speak. You can do anything if you have confidence. Instead of listening to what other people have to say, you should believe in yourself and have confidence. You can do it if you have confidence. I have confidence. This is the subject. Here's the verb. This is the object in the sentence. And this is a noun. I have confidence in myself. The reflexive pronoun matches the subject. If you change the subject to you, you have confidence in yourself. 
if you change the subject to she, she has confidence in herself. She has confidence in herself. If you change the subject to he, he has confidence in himself. He has confidence in himself. It feels right. I said it warmed my heart. I, I mentioned it one of the group. I said, I'll work hard for you. And the gentleman says, well, you're a teacher. I know you. And I said, thank you. We don't know each other pretty well. We know each other. So whichever subject you choose here, you have to think about the verb. This is in the present tense. And you also have to think about the reflexive pronoun that matches the subject. In this sentence, the subject is plural. They have confidence in themselves. Do you have confidence in yourself? Here's my advice to you. Speak with confidence. I speak with confidence. This preposition is often used with the noun confidence. You speak with confidence. He or she speaks with confidence. In the present tense, the word speak requires an S ending with one man or one woman. I'm a confident person. This adjective is used for the noun, person. You can change this to, I'm a confident student. Or you could say, I'm a confident speaker of English. I think this one sounds a little bit better when you're talking about just about anything that you do. Just say, I'm a confident person. That extends to other areas of your life, not just school, not just English, but in everything that you do, whether it's playing a sport or engaging in any other kind of activity. I'm confident when I speak English. Here's the adjective. This describes the subject, I. If you change the subject to he, he is confident when he speaks English. You can tell when a person is confident when he or she speaks English. It's important to be confident. The sentence could begin with when. When I speak English, and this is an adverb clause, so we put a comma here. I'm confident. Is this how you feel when you speak English? Can you say, when I speak English, I'm confident? I try to be confident. Here's the infinitive before the adjective confident. Try to be confident. Here's the adverb, confidently. I speak English confidently. Or for other activities, I do things confidently. If you do things confidently, that means that you believe in yourself and you try to do your best. We can all learn something from the way that children do things because they're very good learners. How do children learn new things? Children do things with confidence. They don't worry about making mistakes. 
They are confident in themselves. They believe in themselves. And they do things confidently, regardless of any kind of outcome. They do things and enjoy the things that they do. These are things that you should think about when you are learning English or whenever you speak English or use English. Do it confidently. Do it with confidence. Feel confident in your ability to speak English. Feel confident. I hope you feel confident.